Hi everyone, in this video we're going to interpret, uh, learn to interpret the discriminant. That's the part here. This is the discriminant that's under the radical sign on your quadratic formula. So if our discriminant is positive, this is what this means. You don't say greater than zero, you just say it's positive, then you're going to have two solutions. That means it crosses the x-axis twice. If our discriminant equals zero, that means there's one solution. That means it just touches once here. And if it's less, if it's negative, then that means we don't have a solution, a real solution anyway. We have a complex solution, which we'll get into a little later. So let's do some examples here, and then I'm going to explain at the very end why um, this works. So. Um, here we have this one, and we're going to do uh, our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, and see what happens. Is it positive, negative, or zero? So this is a, b, and c, our coefficients. So b is 6, so we're going to get uh, 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5. So this is 36 minus 40, and that's negative 4. Since it's negative 4, our discriminant is negative. So it means it's negative. That means there are no real solutions. All right? No real solutions because our discriminant was negative. On this one, uh, we don't have a b, but we have b squared minus 4ac. So uh, b is 0 squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, and c is negative 7. So we get 0 plus 28. That means this is positive. Since it's positive, we have two real solutions. All right, and the last one, our a is 4, our b is negative 12, and our c is 9. So we have, we're going to use this formula and see what happens. b is negative 12, so negative 12 squared minus 4 a c. Now, this is going to give us 144 minus 16 times 9. Um, 16 times 9, I bet you, is 144. Just make sure. Yeah, it's 144. This equals 0. So b squared minus 4ac is 0. That means we have one real solution. And that's all we're doing. So one real solution there. So let's do some more. Um, some will, uh, when you're doing this, will give it to you in, that's not in standard form. So we want to rewrite this in standard form. And we're going to just see how many solutions we have. So B is negative 2, A is 3, and C is negative 7. So we have 4 plus 28 times 3 which is 84. This equals 88. So since this is positive, we have two real solutions. Next, we have this one. So we do b squared minus 4ac. b is 4, so we have 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 is 16 minus 12, which is um, 4. 4 is greater than 0, so we have a, I mean 4 is positive. I shouldn't write it like that. Since 4 is positive, we have two real solutions. We got two more to do. A is 2, B is negative 5, and C is 6. We're going to do B squared minus 4AC. So we have negative 5 squared 
minus 4 times negative 5 times, whoops, that's not right. Um, what is A? A is 2. So 2 times 6. This is going to be 25 minus um, 8 times 6 is 48. Clearly that's negative. So since this is negative, we have no real solutions. And finally, this one I'm going to rewrite. I'm just going to move these two over here on this side. So I'm going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. I just added the x squared and I subtracted 2x. So we want to do b squared minus 4ac. B is negative 2, A is 1, and C is 1. So we get 4 minus 4 equals 0. That means we have, uh, since this equals 0, we have one real solution. Now I shouldn't have an S here. Well, let me tell you why this is true. When you're using the quadratic formula, you have negative B, plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, first of all, if this equals 0, then basically what you have is negative b plus or minus 0 over 2ac. So, basically, you're just having one, one solution because when you add or subtract zero, so our solution is negative b over 2a. Now, if it's positive, then you have something like uh, negative b plus or minus the square root of some number, say 49, over 2a. It's not ac, it's just 2a. Sorry. All right, so... When you do that, you're going to have two solutions because you're going to have negative b plus 7 over 2a and you're going to have negative b minus 7 over 2a. Now, if it's negative, you're going to have negative b plus or minus the square root of a negative number, say negative 9 over 2a. <coughs> In that case, we don't know what the square root of negative 9 is. Now, we're going to get into complex numbers what it is is really negative b plus uh, 3i. And you don't have to know that now. But these are called imaginary solutions. And that's why when we're talking about solutions, we're talking about real. Because it's real versus imaginary. And that will probably be the next video coming up. So real versus imaginary. So when we have something like this and we're just at this level, we're just going to say, well, we have no real ones because actually we have imaginary solution. And don't worry about it if you don't get what I just said here because uh, um, you will get into this a little later. Okay, and that's all for this video and I hope you have a nice day.